What is going on guys, we're back with week 2 in the Packers Primetime 2.0 franchise, the final season of course, and we took a 21-13 victory over the Seahawks, it was a very close game, Russell was scrambling left and right, we were going against the team who has won and all as well, of course the Bears are next, so winning these two games would automatically put us in the top of the division, and the Bears play the Steelers, so that might already be uh, a loss for them anyways, let's take a look, uh, someone asked... If I could get Hacker, <laughs> don't know why we'd really care about him. Uh, Hack is 96 kick power, 79 accuracy. Assume he's still a Ram. Okay, to be fair, Hacker is better. Uh, he's 31. How old is our dude? 27. Um, I guess. Well, now nah, first we're gonna look around the league, see who is the best punter. Is it actually gonna be Hacker? I'd say Marquette King's pretty close. Oh, we have uh, Tress Way, who's just as good. Not as, I guess, for his accuracy isn't really that great. So, yeah, we can see Hacker and Marquette King are both two very, very good kickers. Uh, although, of course, Marquette King's much faster. Sam Martin's a baller still. Can't believe we're actually looking at punters. What are we doing? No, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. We don't need a punter, even though Hacker's kind of cool. Of course, this is the roster. Someone also said to put uh, Portrait at running back and Spellman at wide receiver, although kind of kind of look at uh, Sean Carter. It's a pretty fast man the way it is. 95 speed, 92 excel. What is Porcher? 96 speed, 93 excel. I mean, that's not really much of a difference, to be fair. And uh, I suppose Carter has bit better potential because his elusiveness is already better. This is, of course, the rest of the team, and... Just go straight on to uh, playing the Lions, who in our Express League kind of gave us some troubles, and I vowed that I would not use their playbook again. So I'm going to just go with, like, a West Coast playbook or something. I don't know. Is there anything that isn't the Patriots, I suppose? I have no idea who their team, uh, you know, quarterback and all that is. You got Aguilar here. Killebrew is still a Lion. Uh, what else? Trayon Gaddis. I believe that's their backup running back. Unless they have an injury, I don't really know why he would be there. Or just in general, a kicker turner. You know, I, I remember a few things about our opponent. I mean, usually we're too busy winning, you know, 19 0 season, but I, I got to remember a little bit, just in case one of these guys want to pretend to have a good season, I suppose. Who is their quarterback? I feel like it was like Carr. No, it's Stafford. All right. Not a fantasy uh, franchise there, pal. It's a user league. User league is not that either. Okay. Man, I'm going to be so screwed when I'm like 80. <laughs> My brain's going to be like, Mac Bikino? Okay. Daniil Hunter. Uh, so we're playing some 4-3 business here. Don't think I think that's a good idea. Okay. Let's just... Oh! McKinnon, are you... That didn't happen. Didn't happen. Nope. It didn't happen. It, it, I'm telling you. It didn't. It just didn't. All right. So uh, week one wasn't great. And week two is not looking so great either. I don't know what it is. But in these leagues, these uh, you know, CPU leagues. Oh, we struggle. I should have tried to make a move. But we struggle on the first play on defense. And it sucks. I don't know why. But like the... I said, to be fair, I switched accounts because I was recording something else, and maybe that's why it's got the stupid rookie indicator on. It tells me, like, which angle I'm running and all that. So stupid. Got to do better than that, pal. Underneath, Carter. Nice little first down. Ran the ball so well early. So far, so well. Never heard that phrase. It's a new thing. Never run this play in my life. I don't even know what the hell it is. Oh. The hell was that? Oh, Andrews, touchdown. Get your hands ready, boy. Damn, he didn't have his damn hands ready. Probably shouldn't be blitzing McKinney here. Come. Guess we're not going to be blitzing McKinney inside. Oh, how? Cole obliterated Golden. Golden Tate's like burgundy Tate. It's like red and like blood went out. Come on. Come on. Oh, look at that hit. Gilbert Cole gets the recovery. Who hit him? Was that uh, Clinton? Clinton playing backup? That's a good turnover for us, though. I mean, good decision to kick a field goal, it appears. 
Monte Adams kind of has him beat. We're going to test. All right. <laughs> All right. Andrews, get your hands ready. Said that once before. Still don't have those hands ready. I know Slay basically jumped it for a pick, but still. My hands are ready. I'm not having this. I'm filling these hands with a ball. That's gross. Okay, so I'm hurrying up to the line here. So I feel bamboozled. Because apparently it's more than graphical. We actually do have the sliders. Or not the slider, but you know what I mean. Oh, Porcher's got that ball. Apparently auto-juking and all that is on. I hate when that happens. It like auto-adjusts my settings. No, it's not. It's our problem as well. Carter, nice little first down there. Try to spin. Couldn't get it. I do. To the end zone. What a throw. Armour burns him. He really should be starter. That's the one thing I can kind of agree with you guys on. It's just, ah. I like Andrews. I mean, where can I go where Eric Ebron isn't going to be raping me? Oh, Kevin. If, he, if Golden Tate would have caught that. Shaquem Griffin. Everywhere. For the love of Jesus. Oh, come on. Tevin isn't that good. What is Tevin M99 trucking? Oh. This game hates me, man. I was on a pick. McKinney's all over that. 9-11. Stafford did 9-11. I'm putting that rumor out there. Oh. And everyone, and I mean everyone, got blocked on that play. We brought like eight, and every single player got blocked. Holy crap. We discovered a star. Just kidding. He probably won't score anywhere but on us. Devontae, wide up. But I don't know. They're bringing a lot of corner blitzes, I think. What a throw. I mean, that was the safest throw you're going to get on the run back foot, pretty much. He did this time. Andrews underneath, gets that first, and he's got room. Thing is, if you got Armour there, that's probably a touchdown, but let's be honest, number 87 looks good doing it. Big tank. Our guys are tired. Take a shot to Charles. Right on the money, and that's a touchdown. Oh, I had one of them. Come on, Lolito, you're useless. Those animations suck. You can't hit anybody. Missed two throws so far out of 15. Oh, I thought Josh had him. Okay, I mean, we're just not going to stop him. I might as well just bring press man uh, blitz screen. No! McKinnon, no! McKinnon hit sticks Lolito out of the way. Oh, we've been done. He's 32, by the way. Ooh, the safety kind of screwed up. Porter, please. Oh, Porter wide open again. Oh, dead. Oh, my God. Almost picked off. Good job there, Harper. It's not that hard, man. There's no way. There's no way. He wasn't even looking at the ball. For them. Thank God he... Oh, God. Inside, King gets burned. Good call on that blitz game. Look at the rookie got him to the 28. First half, Stafford's got 300 yards. We're just going to get burned if we do. It's another screen? No. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Hunter's right there. He doesn't make the play. I mean, on these sliders, the AI literally sees everything. They don't miss a single, like, read. Thank you. Give me this, McKinney. Go. Kenny back to back picks on the season. It's a risky one. Porch can't hold on, but it was a good throw. Taking a shot to Porch. I think he has him. He does. Gets caught, though. Down to the 12. Oh, up the middle. Gonna have to take a hit, man. Down to the two. That's a first down. Ah, easy. Easy lane. Touchdown. We take back the lead right before half. Good stuff. Yes, Ortiz, you beast. Should have waited for our uh, man, but good run. There you go, Suggs. Nice nine-yard gain. Almost ten. Go, let me out. We got out at least. I don't. I believe in Cooper. 
who holds on and the vibrations made me think he dropped it straight up thankfully he didn't good find underneath barely the line just gave it up but perfect timing shouldn't have just won that play ever <laughs> never again time i got out of the backfield good time to have him in i suppose quick throw and it's picked off nice job there harper over the middle no one's on him and ebron's going again after the routes landed they move to the left right or backwards five yards to have a wide open receiver to cover the invisible freaking man it drills me in the anus give me that d that should be a pick not the first time i've yelled give me that d should have been a pick though Porter, that's an easy one blocks for days Devonta. oh hello offensive line andrews easy possession good job if they didn't know it was a run they definitely would when we hiked that there you go carter just outrunning people at this point he's not skilled enough to really make too many moves so i'm just outrunning people with him there you go blockers ortiz for the first time all game has uh missed his assignment though really didn't get the separation i wanted and he drops it straight up past that route with flying colors obviously Suggs catching a block to the outside. That's a touchdown. Touch us. Not the first time I said that either. <laughs> uh, gonna have a two possession lead though. Ball security, no pick. Thank you. Blitz. I said press, but clearly we're not. Doesn't matter. John McKinney is the GOAT. The MVP by far. We jump it for probably what should have been a pick. Porcher. Try to cut it back left. Damn it. Good return though to the 31. Not bad. And that is, I mean, I get they're not easy throws, but that is a 20-yard miss. A professional quarterback should never miss by 20 yards unless it's deflected. Deflected or a uh, miscommunication. Clearly, there's no miscommunications in Madden. Late throw because I just didn't expect it to be there. What a catch. Devontae on point with that one. Third and inches. Yeah, the run game's done well, but why not go... Armour is wide open, and he puts a throw on it, and that's the second touchdown of the game. Armour may have just earned his starting job back. What a throw. Constantly putting up points has put some pressure on them. However, it's only a two-possessioner. Score ended up very weird. I don't even know how, but it just did. And they're only down by, you know, two touchdowns. Ooh, almost more, and that's a fourth down. That's going to put some real big pressure on their defense with six minutes left. Oh, they're going to go for it. I mean, the way their defense is playing, you kind of have to agree. But at the same time, if they don't get this, it's game over. Got to leave Golden wide open over the middle. Rookie comes up. Can't get him, though. So clutch play. How to cover the other route. Look at Daniil. Oh, come on. Clowney hits him, but Daniil misses the tackle. And that technically would be Hunter. And I got off there quicker than I would with Clowney. And there's a huge hit. Covered by the offensive line. That's another long fourth down. Back to back. Press. That's going to make Randall useless. Oh, maybe not. Oh, McKinnon made a pick happen. Oh, God. Try to cut that back left. Couldn't. Three and a half minutes. Should be a win. I don't believe in this run one bit, but we'll see. Suggs out running players. Bad news for the defense. Look at the play. Suggs is still a god. Carter wide open. Having a nice game. Carter off to a pretty good rookie campaign so far. Two games, 200 plus. Never mind. Andrews wide open. Run up the score there, but hey, the safety made a bad read. I was going to just chuck it. And that's game 44 to 21. It was a very close game in the first half. I mean, I was actually frustrated. But in the second half, we completely shut them down. Uh, shut them out pretty much, actually, physically. Just locked down on D. And, um, you know, we got points on offense for once. Armour, I think, starts. So, hey, if you want to see Armour start, let me know in the comment section. You know, comment whatever you want. But if you want Armour, type Armour. If you want, or whatever, you know, type text whatever call 
charge rights might apply. I don't know. But Armour or Andrews. I love me some Andrews because he's a true baller beast. But the, the separation Armour gets is unbelievable. I mean, even if we don't want to upgrade his catching stats, we could just go straight run block. But at the same time, I kind of feel like we would have wasted his career. Andrews was an injury. Armour was an indecisiveness thing. You can see there are two amazing plays for Armour in this game. Take a look at the stats once again. Overall of the first two games, I would say, honestly, even though Armour is number two, probably has the better stats than Andrews. Looking at the game, we actually ran the ball three times as well as they did, which is actually shocking because usually in these uh, CPU leagues, we almost never run the ball well because the sliders are ridiculous. But Carter made as much as he could out of the plays he had. And same with Suggs. Great game. Uh, Suggs, same amount of carries as Carter. Of course, Carter pretty much doubled his yardage. Uh, no touchdown for Carter, but that's all right. Harper had a rushing touchdown. Totally forgot about that. Receiving Portra, 137. Uh, what else did we have? Armour only had 60, actually. So Andrews actually had a better receiving yardage game than Armour, which is kind of shocking there. Uh, Andrews did uh, have two drops. I mean, obviously, that's any time the ball touches his hands, it's considered a drop, even if it's really hard. Or more two touchdowns. Andrews one. Dual tight end threat is dangerous. Daniel two and a half sacks. McKinney with a half. McKinney of course with a pick. McKinnon with a pick. And yeah, that's that. I've learned my lesson on not simming before uh, exiting. I want to keep my stats that game. You best believe. Of course, weekly scouting is here. It's not going to matter, but I guess we'll scout probably two and zero uh, Packers over the. Uh, one and one Bears. The Bears did lose, so we're on top of the division regardless. So looking at the re-signings, obviously this is the last season, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, and looking at the players, it doesn't really, you know, I'm not seeing anything too crazy. McMullen would be the biggest steal ever. I would sign him to a seven-year deal here. Devontae, four-year. That's a little rough at 28. Lolito, we'll lock that in right now for a five-year. I don't want to go any further, though, because I'm worried about that speed. Corey Lindsley, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about these re-signings. Once again, doesn't really matter, but in case we decide to uh, turn this into a rebuild before Madden 19 comes out, we do have to take a look at these things. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Going against the Bears this week when we come back. And uh, I think we'll be... No, I think we would still be we'd down. So, losing this game would put the Bears back on top. And more importantly, lose our undefeated streak of, what, 21-0, maybe better? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!